There are very few channels that I will actually make sure that I watch every single upload that they do. The channel today that we're going to be discussing that I make sure that I watch all of their uploads is Upper Echelon, formerly Upper Echelon Gaming. Now, if you've ever seen any of his videos, he does fantastic breakdowns about the business practices that are going on in the gaming space as well as other tech spaces. His channel is absolutely fantastic. If you have not subscribed to it, make sure that you go to and subscribe to it. But the most interesting thing that he's done lately, in my personal opinion, was a community post that he did the other day calling out the NPC comments section. And I am very excited to go through this community post he put up on his YouTube and give my own thoughts and opinions on it. Because to be perfectly honest, as I see it, he's usually on the mark. And here, I think he's even more on the mark than normal. All right, so Upper Echelon Gaming. Now, as you can see here, the subscribe button is black. That's because I am on my secondary channel, not my primary channel. My primary channel, I am subscribed to him. But you know what? We'll just click that button right there. So that way, my secondary channel is subscribed to him as well. So here it is two days ago. The state of this community is embarrassing. I know that this post will rub a few sensitive, worthless people the wrong way, and they'll lash out as a result, but the video game community is rapidly becoming something I want nothing to do with. That is a hell of a way to start off. And I, when I was reading this the other day, went, okay, he's, let him cook, just let him cook. Long story short, as I grew up from the inception of this channel till now, I realized that consistent integrity, critical thinking, and the ability to evolve was an integral part of content creation. So much so that I now actively attempt to not only seek out different, differing perspectives as I create videos, but also internalize and consider feedback from positions outside my current sphere of influence, also known as echo chamber. That appears to be untrue for a noticeable number of active commenters, and it is especially untrue for a sizable number of directly advocating community members. To put this bluntly, you do not control me. Now, as somebody who does a live stream almost every single Sunday, barring circumstances or, or just barring my time management, where I go through and I read my comments section I, and I see how people interact and react, this caught me off guard because I never thought that a large YouTuber or a larger YouTube channel would actually point something out like this. It is often that I read in my own comments sections from uh, even community members who are familiar with my channel, who've been around for a long time, or just new people to the channel, parroting the exact words from other large YouTube creators without actually internalizing that information and critically thinking it for themselves. Now, I know a lot of people who watch this channel are gonna go, Royce, what the hell? Are you talking about me? I don't know, okay? It just depends. But this is something that I think needs to be said and something that a lot of people don't seem to understand. A vocal portion of the audience, however dedicated, does not constitute my moral compass, and it is quite frankly pathetic to me to watch people try and compel my opinions through harassment or misguided feedback, off-platform feedback, when I have no interest whatsoever in talking to you on my personal cell phone. Woohoo! Ever. Hence why it's not in the fucking video description. That is insane that people are actually calling him because he doesn't tow the party line. When the only reason they are doing so is to try and compel what they consider favorable coverage for topics they are fixated on that I do not, have not, and will never care about or agree with. The culture war is an exhausting topic, and right now one side of the political aisle is losing it for themselves. They are alienating everyone with a brain. They are relentlessly pushing, or more importantly, harassing everyone that doesn't fully agree with them on a scale that is frankly baffling to me as someone who defended these fuck-ups for literal years. And I find myself tired. This right here was the paragraph that made me go, holy crap. I have not said it that bluntly, 
but I have said I am noticing people are no longer talking about the culture war in critical terms, but they are simply doing it for SEO aggregation and simply doing it for clicks and views. On top of that, their audiences who follow them not only don't, I'm sorry, the audiences that follow them don't realize that they're doing this for clicks and views and simply go out and they parrot what they heard from another YouTube channel in everyone else's comments section if you have even a slightly differing view. This is something that I have noticed myself. This is something that I have even, I've had conversations. I've shouted at people in my live chats who are still members of my community and they know that I am stubborn and bullheaded about stuff. But when I saw this, I was like, wow, somebody larger than me is pointing it out. And by larger, let's scroll back up, 724,000 subscribers. Tired of the comments where people screech, piss, and moan about someone disagreeing with them. Tired of the messages where someone types out 1,500 words about how wrong I am. Yeah, as somebody who reads the comments all the time, I come across comments that are absolutely that long all the time, and it's fucking irritating. Okay, when they got one of the immediate and primary arguments wrong because they didn't even comprehend the video or clearly never listened to it. This is a rampant plague. If you are familiar with my Sunday Coffee live stream, you know that when I'm going through all of the comments that I have and I start reading some of these long ones, you guys have seen my fatigue, my and my frustration when it comes to people coming in, trying to lay out, again, a very, very long comment when they either only read the title of the video, only heard the first 30 seconds of the video, or just saw the thumbnail and thought, hmm, I'm gonna one-up this guy with the words of a YouTuber that I follow and not my own critical thinking skills. And I subsequently waste, wasted my time at reading their worthless opinion. I'm frankly sick and tired of people fixating on whatever tiny thing they can find that they perceive me to be wrong about, even when I'm not. Been there. And actually, I really, really kind of respect what he's saying here. And I'm tired of sorting through this mentally every day. While I consider what to cover next so that the rabid, politically obsessed cult of identity politics weirdos who think that they are somehow fighting for the right side of the culture war will stay the fuck away from me, that's wrong. This is all wrong. I'm rapidly becoming ashamed to exist in the current landscape of gaming. Part of it is clearly my fault, obviously. However, lately as I watched the division of the world around me living in America, I find myself wanting to focus on consistency of principle and reasonable criticism. If that's incompatible with YouTube, which it might be as a result of polarization and political brain rot, so be it. But truth be told, I'm not beholden to this, and I'm sick and tired of the extremes on both sides of the political spectrum. Now this right here, as soon as I read this, extremes on both sides of the political spectrum. What he is referring to here, because a lot of people will come back and they will say, well, only one side is extreme. Well, again, that's wrong. When somebody comes into a comments section and starts commenting things that, again, are heard from various different YouTubers, not providing their own thoughts, most likely because they're incapable of it, but simply parroting the lines of a thumbnail or a video title or the rant that we've all heard 50,000 times from different YouTubers, that is a political extremist. Somebody who doesn't stop to think, wait, what are they saying? Why are they saying it? Why is, is this or is this not entirely correct? Is there anything correct in this situation? No. They simply jump on the soapbox. It's time for 1,500 words. It's time to write out a really long script for a video that's been posted 500 times from much larger channels. All for the culture war. I have pointed this out to people before in my comments. You guys have heard me shout about it. 
You guys have heard me shout down a lot of the people who might even politically agree with me, but don't do any sort of critical thinking at all. Again, I did a video uh, a little while ago talking about how DEI and woke didn't kill gaming. And a lot of people had exceptions with that. And again, they parroted the lines from popular YouTube channels and offered nothing of value. Some of you obviously can't fucking handle being told when you're wrong, but you are also the problem. Us versus them only gets you so far, and currently them, the problem in your eyes, is you. If you don't like it, keep screeching. Prove my fucking point. I never thought that I would see a large channel talk about this. Talk about how polarized people are and how most people simply give up their willingness to actually critically think, which I think most people actually don't anymore, sadly. Critical thinking is not something that's taught in the public school system anymore. It's not something that's been taught for a long time. Most parents out there have no idea what critical thinking is, right? The quick emotional reaction is the way to go. That's how you grow on the platforms, all of them. I must emotionally react to everything. I must sit there, try to own people, try to ratio them, and I'm simply going to use the words that other people have told me to use. It's one of the things that I got to a point when I was working with this channel going, wait a minute, am I doing that? Is this something that I am falling into? Am I parroting the words of other people or am I actually using my own critical thoughts based off of all of the information that I have? Not wanting to fall into that trap of just being another reactionary YouTube channel, I pivoted a lot of my content and my small YouTube channel has absolutely suffered for it. I've heard people in the past tell me that there are certain things that I need to talk about and I say, why? And they said, well, because everybody's talking about this. I'm like, yeah, but we all know that this thing is bad. For instance, I've heard people tell me that I've needed to talk about She-Hulk when She-Hulk was a thing or that I needed to talk about the Lord of the Rings television show or that I needed to watch it because that's what all of the big guys were doing. I said, why? It's bad. Why would I watch something that's bad? Why would I subjugate myself to that? And they said, well, everybody else is. I've heard people say, Hey, I drink with crazy. Are you going to talk about this thing? I'd really love to hear your opinion on it. I'm like, but why? And it's usually a controversial topic. For instance, in this space here, there were people that loved to argue the Comics Gate versus Iron Age debate. I've had people reach out and say, man, we would really love for you to host a debate on Iron Age versus Comics Gate. I'm like, why? It's fucking stupid. Independent creators. Why are like independent creators are creating shit? Why is there why is there an argument there? Who gives a shit? What is this? What is it? What is it? Are, are, I'm, I'm sorry. Are, are, are we as dumb as NFL audiences? Like, I, I don't like football. So if you like football and you got called out there, yeah, I'm not really going to apologize on that. But again, that is the landscape of social media and that's the landscape of YouTube. Upper Echelon, I really appreciate the fact that you made this community post. I saw it the other day. I read it and I went, holy crap. You're actually seeing what I'm seeing. And God willing that you grow holding to your principles and that channels like yours become the primetime channels instead of just the culture war reactionary channels where all of the creators are just going to say the exact same line, they're going to look at the exact same tweets, and they're simply going to provide an entertainment value that is rapidly decreasing in viewership because we've heard those lines before. I hope that Upper Echelon continues to do the videos that he's doing, continues to talk about the topics that he is talking about because he doesn't speak the same lines that everybody's heard. In fact, a lot of the videos that he covers and the topics, or the videos that he creates and the topics that he covers, I haven't heard before. He does a level of research that is absolutely fantastic. He and his team really put into perspective a lot of the businesses that are behind all this, a lot of the business practices that are behind all this, and exactly how the tech companies are being weaponized against the populace. But again, he's not talking about all of the woke stuff, so he must not be correct. Thank you guys so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy. This was something that I really, really, really wanted to dive into. Let me know down below what you guys think of this video this community post from upper echelon, upper echelon let me know what you guys think of me reading through things like this and as always until next time
Cheers, everybody.